Hey y'all, it's Kim with the Can. Coming to you guys with a new video. So, I have my Cumberland School Law t-shirt, so y'all know this video is about to be law school related. So, um, I've really been wanting to figure out how I'm going to start like a series about law school on my channel. I was going to vlog, but I'm like, literally, there's nothing going on in class. Like, I couldn't even vlog, honestly, because a lot of stuff is like confidential. I don't know, it's just like always stuff going on that I feel like I just couldn't post. Um, and it might be a little bit awkward. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, so I decided I'm going to start a series called The Legal Tea. Like, y'all get it? Like, the tea. Like, I should have a cup or something. Like, I need a tea cup. Like, a, a cup because I'm about to have tea. But for today, I'm going to have my Whataburger, Whataburger cup because mm, I'm spilling this tea. Actually, you know what? Let me go get a mug so I can spill some tea. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. And we're back <laughs> with The Legal Tea. <laughs> Cannot. So yeah, y'all, I'm about to be spilling some legal tea today. Get your little coffee mugs, whether it's coffee, tea. I might have a wine glass a few times or two, but today we sipping on some Sprite. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So before I jump into the, today's video, as you can see by the title, it's going to be a QA. and a I know I'm really, really late in the game for this Q&A for law school, but, you know, better late than never, you know? You know? Law school is just super busy, and it kind of just, like, time flew by. I didn't even know, because, like... I'm looking on here and I was like trying to find the video and it was from January 5th, like 2017. Like it is, today is what? September, really phone, really? September 10th, 2017. So it's, okay. I'm way far behind, but I'm here. I'm back and I'm better like, okay, but I'm here and we're about to get this video done. Basically, um, what I want the series to be is going to be like my experience in law school, tips, tricks, advice, whether it's um, law school or pre-law um, related questions. Um, what else? That kind of thing. You guys get the general gist. That's pretty much what this series is going to be about. Just like my law school, just law school advice, tips, my experience, and things like that. So if you have any question, comments, concerns throughout the series, or just you have any question about like anything that relates to law school that I'm able to answer, put it down in the comment section below. And um, I'm doing this Q&A, but if I forgot something or if you guys want to update on something, because I know this video is so old that I'm getting these um, questions from that you guys did back in January and I'm gonna get some from the Instagram um, post that I did too back then um, but yeah so if you have any other questions definitely leave it down below if you have any video ideas for this specific series let me know like what specific you want to see I do have a interview makeup tip interview makeup video I will leave in the link below and also have a interview tips video that I will leave in the link below because I want to start doing more professional type videos and I will leave it all in my legal series um but those tips and the makeup can go for like any profession. So, so my name is Cameron, as you can tell, Cameron with a K. <laughs> and I attend Cumberland School of Law in Birmingham, Alabama. I'm a second year law student. I am so excited to be a second year. You guys have no idea. One L, one L was definitely one L of a year, okay? So I'm happy to be in my um, second year in law school. It was definitely hard, but I feel like I learned a lot throughout just that first year. And I'm, I'm still learning now, even going to my second year. Um... It's like a never-ending learning process, especially when it comes to trying to find the right way for you to study in law school because it's nothing like undergrad, nothing like high school, nothing like anything I've ever studied before. I will say that this is probably one of the hardest things I've ever done in my entire life. Law school is literally one of the hardest things I've ever done in my entire life. Um, but not to say that to scare you or to deter you because it's one of the most rewarding things I've ever done in my life as well. So I'm really excited and I'm excited to share this journey with you guys. I know I'm in my second year um, and I kind of wish I would have started this my first year. But I still have two whole years y'all. Don't worry. It's a three year program for those of you that don't know. Law school is a three year program. Um, if you're doing it full time, which I am, I'm not working or anything during the school year. I was going to, during, I was going to do that this year but look okay. We'll get into all that. Um, once I go through some of the questions, I'm just going to go ahead and just answer some of the questions. I'm not going to say people's names or anything, just because y'all, I'm bad at pronouncing names, and y'all would not call me out like that. Y'all not going to do me like this. But, um, yeah, so here we go. Here's a question. It says, how do you maintain bills you had prior to law school, being that you can't really work much in law school? Basically, how can a law student afford anything? So, let me tell y'all, like, when people be like, college students are broke, law students are broke. Like, unless they family them, mama, daddy paying for something, which mine's not. Um, school loans is how I'm paying, which somebody, um, actually this goes into the next question that somebody asked, so I'm kind of going to combine these with the question about maintaining bills that I had prior to law school, as well as somebody said, how are you paying for law school loans, scholarships, things of that nature. So, one thing, um, in my undergrad, I took a gap year, which means I took a year off from school in between my undergraduate degree and going to law school, and I took that year off. Honestly, I wasn't trying to take that year off. I really just wanted to go straight through because I'm like, if I take that year off, I ain't going back. 
I ain't going back. But yeah, I, clearly I went back, so I'm happy I did. But um, yeah, I, I thought that, but then I took the LSAT and <laughs> I didn't do that well. So um, I was like, you know what? I'm just taking a year off and study for the LSAT again and try to do a little bit better because I can do better. Okay, I don't know. I have test anxiety, so when I tell y'all taking that test, it's hard. The LSAT is hard, but it has nothing to do with law school, so don't freak out. But we'll talk about the LSAT either in more detail in another video. So you guys would like to see just a pre-law, how to, that's definitely on my list thing to do, how to do all the pre-law stuff for law school, applying, all that. I will definitely make a video about that in my experience. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, you can't work your first year in law school. So that gap year that I took the year off before law school, I did work full time. So I tried to save as much as I could, but I mean... I'm young, so I'll be spending money and not saving like I should. And I wasn't making that much money. And I was still paying rent. It wasn't like I was living at home. I still had, like, car payments, like, really big bills. Um, so if you can live at home and save as much as you can before you go to law school, or even in law school, I definitely suggest that. Because ain't no, no, put your pride down, who cares? Because these loans are serious. And um, law school is expensive. And you can't work. So, yes, I took out the maximum amount, the maximum allowed, um, allotted, allotted? Max it a lot. So I still got the max in loans on um, my first year because I couldn't work. Um, your second and third year you can work, but for me, like I'm just too busy. Like I made the national trial team and things of that nature, and Barbara represented all those other stuff that you know, all that glitz and glands of law school. I'm blessed and so thankful. Like so blessed and thankful. Like I really, really am so glad to be on the trial team. Like it's an honor. It really, really is. Um, it just is. Like I don't have to cry, y'all. <laughs> but um, yeah, and I'm also a um. Barbary student representative, which is just awesome. Really good perks with that. And I'm involved with a few other things and um, things like that. So, and of course I'm part of Ball, so like Black Law Students Association represent, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still rambling. I'm, this video is gonna be rambly because like I have a lot to say. My other videos will be like more targeted to a specific topic. So don't worry, but um, yeah, this is kind of just an overview type video. So yeah, I do take out loans. Um, I actually am on a partial scholarship at Cumberland. Thank you, another I cried like I literally bawled. I'll give you guys my like first like my story time my or something I don't know about when I got accepted and like my feelings and where I was and what's going on maybe in another video because I could just go into deep depth about that but I cried I was so happy that I got accepted somewhere because this was my first acceptance and then I ended up getting like I think I got accepted like seven other schools and I decided on this one for various reasons which I'll do in another video. I know I keep saying that but like I don't want this video to be too long because it's going to be long anyway but yeah take a sip. Maintaining bills, so I'm just using my loan money. Honestly, I mean, I have to pay it back anyway, so I might as well use it. And then also for me, I have YouTube. I don't get paid that much. Like, okay, I'm not out here balling like these other YouTubers and getting flown out places. That's just not me. Um, I wish, but I wish somebody want to fly me out to like New York Fashion Week or something. No, but um, seriously, I would love that opportunity. But um, I just school is first, law school's first, and I just can't do too much with YouTube right now because. Law school is literally an investment uh, with time, mentally, physically, emotionally, like all that I'm investing, money, financially, all that. But honestly, you're not really about to be doing that much at school, like, so I don't know what, besides bills, honestly, it's not like you're going that many places, so you really ain't spending that much money, to be honest, because you're studying in the library for the free. <laughs> um, somebody asked, how did I prepare for the LSAT? What advice could I give someone who is about to take the LSAT and what was my LSAT score? Um... Do I want to give my LSAT score? I don't really care. Maybe I will in another video. And you know what? I will do it in my like pre-law preparing for law school or something video, but I'm not gonna do it in this one. I don't really care, but like, it really doesn't matter once you're in law school, but like, I just don't wanna do it yet. Prepare for the LSAT. Um, there's two different ways. You can either take a course or you can just self-study. I self-studied both times because see the way my bank account is set up, I could not afford. Um, if I was gonna pay for a study, um, pay for a study program or like Kaplan, Barbie, whatever the case, whatever it was going to be. I wanted it to be like the very best, the top. And I knew I couldn't afford that. So I was like, you know, what? I can self-study because I know people that have gotten excellent scores into like Emory and all these other places um, for, um, and they, all they did was self-study. So it's pos it's definitely possible to self-study and get into like a top tier school. My school isn't top tier, but I love it. Our professors are awesome. They're from, I have a professor that was from Harvard, like really good background professors. So just because you go to a school that's not in like top tier, top whatever, it still can be a very good school and connections you make. When I tell you law school is about networking, like networking is literally the key to success in law school and being a lawyer. Cause it's like this little elite group 
of all of us kind of having our back, especially at Cumberland. Like, there's so many alumni that just want to help out, and I just love that. So, I genuinely, genuinely love Cumberland. Like, it is just, it's awesome, you guys. It's awesome. Speaking of Cumberland, I'm actually going to be um, representing Cumberland at Morehouse. They're having a law school event in Atlanta. So, if you're there, definitely go check it out. I will be there. It's going to be October 12th, that's a Thursday from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. I don't know how you register, but if I have details about that, I will leave that in the description box. I would love to meet you guys. If you're aspiring lawyers and aspiring law students that are able to attend the event, definitely go. I'm not hosting or anything, but I'll be um, at like a table with Cumberland gear and talking about Cumberland and things like that. So definitely check that out. Study as much as you can with the LSAT. Study as much as you can, but don't put too much pressure on yourself. I'm gonna do it all over again, and I wanted to go straight through, and I knew I didn't wanna take time off. I would have took the LSAT. I would have planned to take the LSAT in my junior year. Your LSAT score can la can hold for five years. So if you take it your junior year, junior year in undergrad, then you can still have the LSAT score for five years out. I don't know if that has changed. And I know um, some schools are now accepting the GMAT, I think, or the GRE. I think it's the GMAT that they're accepting now. So things are changing um, since when I was, when, since I started law school. But still, um, definitely do research, 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 research on the law schools you want to go to, research on the LSAT. Go to LSAC.org. That's where you register for the LSAT. All law students do. And they have like application information on different schools. They have um, how much it's going to, you have to pay for each application. But you can get waivers. You can get waivers for your application. This is the major key. Go to the LSAT forums, like LSAC forums. There's one in Atlanta I went to. Free waivers. All these schools, you need to talk to them. Go to the tables. Ask them for a waiver. Email the schools, their admissions offices, and just ask for them. Because a lot of times people don't ask. And if you don't ask, you don't get it. So because um, uh, applying can be expensive you're applying to like say 10 schools and that's what $30 per school that adds up so definitely keep that in mind too somebody asked me when when will you finish the law with law school and what kind of law will you be practicing so I get this question a lot you guys you don't like major in law school you literally learn everything your first year like every type of subject like across the board everything and then you kind of start to gen like kind of start to get specific when you get to pick your own classes your second and third year but your first year is like set for you your classes are set for you and it's pretty much all first year students in across America like are taking the same classes, whether the same first or second semester, like you pretty much are in the same general classes. Um, and then after that, you can kind of specify if you want to do if you're going like the trial attorney litigation route, or if you're going more of the um, what's the word tax attorney um, transactional lawyer route just depends. I'm going towards like trial and litigation route because I love being in the courtroom. Um, I don't mind doing anything else either, but I just love being in the courtroom. That's just me. But, um, so yeah, I'll finish law school May 2019. Woo! It's coming, it's coming, definitely coming fast, I feel like. But I'm excited to, um, just enjoy the moment every step of the way. Um, what law are we practicing? I have a few interests right now. My interests are criminal law. Um, I really am leaning towards prosecuting. I was at the district attorney's office over the summer. I loved it. <laughs> hey, y'all, if you're watching this, I miss you guys. I loved it, um... Hopefully I'll be able to continue to do that. I wouldn't mind doing criminal defense, getting some experience in that as well. Also, I have interest in intellectual property, which is like copyright laws, patent law, things of that nature. Just because of YouTube, I would love, like my dream job would be to work for Google in their like YouTube copyright department or something like that. I would love that to work in there as a lawyer. That would be like literal, literal goals. Like so Google is putting it out in the, in the atmosphere. That would be my dream job. Um, but I wouldn't mind being a district attorney. Um, However that goes, ADA or DA. Um, I also have interest. I think personal injury is interesting too. I know it's kind of like broad. Like I feel like a lot of lawyers do personal injury. I don't want to own my own firm or anything like that. I'm saying that now. Maybe it'll change, but for now, I don't. Um, I wouldn't mind working in big law either. See, I'm not really opposed to any type of law. I'm kind of like neutral across the board. I don't. I wouldn't really want to work with family law. I wouldn't be opposed to it necessarily, but I wouldn't. That's probably like the one area I'm mm, not really trying to really work in that. And tax law. Just don't want to do it. Um, it says, what's the hardest part of law school? Do you snack while studying? What type of lawyer would you like to be? So I kind of answered the lawyer to be, I do snack while studying. So I pack my lunch when I go to school. Once I go to school, like I, I'm there all day. Like I pack my lunch. Sometimes I pack a dinner and two, three, four snacks. If I know I'm going to be studying after classes or whatever. Like it's a little different this year than it was first year. Which when I do my um, first year recap video, I'll go into detail about that. But I still kind of do the same thing this year. I don't study as much on campus. Not yet. Um, I know once final sits, I will be in the library. Okay, okay so um, what was I talking about? I kind of forgot what I was talking about because my phone, my camera just died. Um, somebody said, what's the hardest part of law school? I think the hardest part is figuring out the right way to study 
and reading the legal language and then having to look up almost every other word because you don't know what the definition of it is. A lot of it's in Latin and all this other stuff. I think that was the hardest part, at least my first year. And then now I'll say juggling, being involved on campus, um, having the summer experience and using that to your advantage, um, having the summer work experience that you had, using that to your advantage, continue to network, looking, thinking ahead for a job and still studying. Um, I think that's where I'm at right now. Somebody asked me, said, how's it going? We need more su successful black female lawyers. I've got high hopes for you. Do you think, girl? Thank you, boo. Okay, somebody said, do you know students um, that were accepted into law school with a below average LSAT score? My LSAT score was not that fantastic. It was, let's just say it was lower than a 160. Okay. <laughs> somebody said, how hard is it to work and go to law school? It's impossible your first year. Don't even try. Like, it's just not worth it. Your first year, you should put in work. Like, I feel like I wish I would have studied even more my first semester. My first year, in general, my first semester for sure. Um, then it says, if you're not working, oh, they're talking about part-time jobs. Blah, blah, blah. I already kind of went over that. Um, what are your plans after law school? You know, I'm not 100% sure, and I'm okay with that. But I hope to have a job. <laughs> um, what should I do to prepare while I'm in undergrad? I'll have a whole video on that, so I'm not going to go into detail, but I will have a whole video on what to do while you're in undergrad. Or what kind of things do you do to help you study and learn the material? Some people say, uh, well, number one thing for me are outlines. So every school has outlines, like outline database that like for my school, like Law Review, they put out outlines of like the top I don't know, 10% people of the school, that top 10% graded people, I don't know how to explain it. Um, people with the top 10% grades rank and ranking. They put out outlines, you can buy them. Everything costs in law school, like we already broke, like why we gotta pay? They give out outlines and basically it's geared towards each specific subject and each specific professor. So like for my con law, I'm taking Professor Smolin and he has a specific, there are specific outlines just for students that took him like and did very well. So whether they got an A or whatever the case may be, they took him, maybe they booked the class. Booked at my school means you got the highest A. Like, that could be more than one A, but booked means, like, you got the highest A. And they put your name on this little list and all this other stuff. And also, Dean's List, <laughs> that I actually made spring semester. Woo! I did not make Dean's List my fall semester, my first semester. But I made Dean's List the second semester. Look at God. Look at God. Look at God. Anyway. So, yeah, they do have a list, and they put people's names on the Dean's List, too. So, it's kind of cool, but it's not really that big of a deal, because it's all about this J-O-B. Okay? Trying to get the job at the end and passing the bar exam. Moving along, um, it says learn material. So for me, like I said, outlines are major key, and it literally just gives you like an outline of the class. Like some of some of it's very detailed, some of it's not that detailed, but I love outlines. And also other study materials from like Kaplan, um, Barbary. I use Barbary, I'm a Barbary rep, so Barbary is the number one. No, I'm not just saying that as a rep because it really did help me, I think, jump from no dean's list to dean's list. My, between my semesters so that's why I love Barbary and I was honored to um represent them because they really did help me um what else flashcards some classes that are really really heavily even actually any base I was gonna say if it's really really heavily definition based but I feel like it's all kind of definition based because if you have a case and you need to know like the rule or you need to know like the holding or whatever you can still make a flashcard so if flashcards used to work for you in undergrad stick to it it's nothing wrong with still studying the way you did but it's still in a different way in law school. I, I hope that makes sense. I'll talk about briefing cases and all that case brief in my um in another video because that's it'll be too long. What was your undergrad and where'd you, where did I get my degree? So I went to Kennesaw State University in Kennesaw, Georgia, Owl Nation. Um, I majored in political science and I minored in criminology. This is just a little like tidbit for people that don't know. You don't have to major in like history or English or um, political science or criminal justice just to go to law school. You can actually be like a dance major, you can be a finance major, engineer, nurse, whatever the case may be and still go to law school. Like I didn't know that. I know that sounds like duh, duh, but I really didn't know. Probably would have got a business degree and still minored in criminology because I just love criminal law. Like, I just can't get away from it. But um, I probably would have did that. But then again, Maybe I not. Maybe I wouldn't have had the same experience that I did, like being able to do mock trial and undergrad and things like that. So maybe I wouldn't have. But I, I would recommend doing something other than like political science, just because unless you really want to go to the political arena, um, just because so you have a fallback. I don't know. I don't know. But it's it's really up to you. So any degree, get the best grades that you can, learn as much as you can. If you can intern, intern. I did, and I'll talk more about that in another video. I know I keep saying that. I literally keep saying that. I keep saying that. But I keep saying it like. <laughs> But yeah, intern, job shadow, a lawyer, something like that. So you can get start getting in that networking, like little, like I said, the little elite group. 
get in there sis it says how exactly did you know you want to study law i really didn't know but um i was like i did theater since i was like eight years old and i just loved being on stage i love that i've been in like over 13 plays and musicals i just love it like i love theater and the performing arts um so i thought i wanted to do that and then i got older and it was like um you need to think of something else which i honestly that's not true go for your dreams if you want to do acting things like that but for me i just didn't have the money to like fly to LA, do all this at that time. I just wasn't there financially. My family, we just were not rich. Okay. But so then I, law just kind of was always in my life. I didn't even realize it. Like I would always watch those like court shows, the judge shows, like Terry Matlock, like throwback, all those Judge Judy, Judge Joe Brown, like all that, Judge Mathis. Um, I just would watch all of those shows. One day I had like a personal thing that went on with my family. I was in the courtroom. I just loved the way the attorney was just moving. To me, it felt like theater. It was like being in the courtroom felt like being on stage. I just really loved it. Like I just loved it. And I just kind of like went for it. So when I came to the undergrad, I was like, okay, going to be a lawyer. Like I had no idea what that meant. I didn't know nothing about the LSAT, LSAC website. None of it. Like I didn't know, but I was like, I'm going to be a lawyer. So it's still crazy that like I'm in law school. Sometimes I sit like, dang, God is so good. Like wow like i really am in law i don't know i know i'm gonna get on my little soapbox but i'm really blessed and thankful so grateful to be in law school it was it's been a long time coming don't get me wrong i've never been like the 4.0 4 student or anything like that so i just want to let y'all know that if you want to go to law school if you want to go to medical school or whatever you want to do go for it no matter the people around you no matter your grades like push for it study hard make the right connections and i promise you it will work out like whether it's a year from now, three years from now, five years from now, pace your dreams. Go full-fledged. Like, it's worth it. How are your grades? I wasn't on Dean's List first semester, but I was on Dean's List second semester of the first year. Let's see. How did you learn about your study habits? I just kept trying stuff, y'all. Like, um, I had an awesome study group. It was three of us in the study group, including me, and it was just awesome. It just worked out. It was really helpful for me, but I realized that I had to study outside of my study group, too. Some people can't do study groups, and that's okay. Like, I knew in the beginning, your first year, like especially your first semester like the first couple months you don't know what the fuck you're doing like you don't know what you're doing don't worry about no study group don't worry about studying perfectly don't worry about all that just try to get into a routine try to learn the material read the material get familiar with the material and you'll be fine it'll all kind of like it just kind of happens you kind of just get in your group and it kind of just works what else okay someone said does my program offer a part-time program cumberland does offer a part-time program um i didn't choose it because i'm honestly i'm young so I can right now make that sacrifice to just do it full time and not work. I don't have like any kids. I'm not married um, or anything like that. So why not? Just go full fledged. How do you balance working in school? I'm not working, but I do have YouTube, which is very hard in school. As y'all can tell, I've been so inconsistent. Are you becoming a lawyer? Or are you going to do something else? I do want to pass the bar, which after you get through with law school, your three years, you have to pass the bar exam to practice in the state. So um, I'm not sure which bar I'm going to take, whether it's going to be Alabama, Georgia, Michigan, D.C., Texas. I don't know. Um, probably going to be Alabama, but I'm not sure. I don't really have. I mean, I have a reason to stay in Alabama. So, like, I don't want to say I don't because that's like, I mean, I do. I do have a reason to stay in Alabama. But, um, you know, I'm not limiting myself for anybody. So, yeah, I'm 24. Like, I'm so young. I ain't got no kids. I ain't married. Okay. So somebody put a ring on his finger, not this one. This is just a little play ring. This one, then maybe I'll think about it. <laughs> Pros and cons of part-time in law school. I have to ask somebody that is a part-time law student, but long story short, it's going to be a longer program. So you're going to be in it longer. Um, you'll be in school longer. Um, you won't have the same experience, I feel like, your first year because you'll kind of be taking not all first-year classes. Like, the schedule is just different. So I feel like you don't get the same full time I'm a law student feel when you're doing it part time. But if you're if you have kids or you're, you have to work, like I think it's an awesome um, way to still get your Juris Doctorate because you're still going to get the degree and you still have to pass the bar like the rest of us. So it's hard for me to answer the, my most and least favorite classes that I've taken just because like some of the topics I actually like, but I didn't like the way the professor taught it or I'm saucy about my grade or whatever. <laughs> so I'm gonna skip that question. What are some very simple laws we should but probably don't know? I love this question. I'm gonna save it because I'm gonna do a whole video on this. I'm gonna try to like ask around, maybe make like a whole list and actually write it down. I love this question. It's so important because sitting in law school, especially in my criminal law class, I was sitting there like, it's so many laws that people just simply don't know that they're breaking. Like it's sad and it's kind of scary. So that's why people realize that they're, staying in the system or whatever the case may be um because people just don't know like they just literally don't know but i'll do a video on that if i'm able i have to check like 
I'm not trying to get like in trouble with the bar and I ain't even passed the bar or take the bar yet, but I'll see what I can do. Um, let's go to the questions on my Instagram. It says, how did you go about picking a law school? That's a really good question. Um, for me, because like I said, I'm not married. I was in a relationship when I was um, picking a law school. So that kind of, I hate to say that it did kind of make me choose which school, like kind of narrow down the schools, but it did. I mean, I was in like a almost three year relationship. So clearly, like I was thinking like it was for the long term. Um, but it wasn't like and I'm okay with that if, if you'd like to see a how I got over the heartbreak video I will leave that down below okay but um yeah so being single even if I was in a relationship I wasn't married and I wasn't I didn't have kids so that made it a little bit easier when trying to decide which school but those are kind of things that you put factor in and also where you might be willing to live because when you're in law school you network a lot at the school at the location that you're at so um which I guess I didn't really think about that my thing was like it's close to Georgia and I thought I wanted to be in Georgia like in Atlanta and work practice there but now that I've been in school and like I met somebody and I got friends here oh, la, 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 you know so now I'm kind of like probably gonna be in Alabama which is fine I don't really mind honestly I like it. it's definitely growing on me so um and I'm just meeting awesome people and I love it that's something to keep in mind because it might be somewhere where you're building your network so um that's something to keep in mind price definitely i mean law school is expensive but if you can get a scholarship somewhere i did get a more scholarship here so that's another reason why i chose cumberland i had a scholarship almost full scholarship somewhere but you also have to weigh like credibility of the school whether the school is accredited whether that degree you can take across the states because like cumberland degree there's cumberland alumni everywhere in america so i love that i can take my cumberland degree and it still holds weight in other states that's something to keep in mind. I toured a lot of schools, but when I got onto campus at Cumberland, I was like, this is it. It felt like I needed to be there. I know that sounds like, how you know? But it really did. Um, I felt like I needed to be there. And there was some, another school that I almost went to because it would have been kind of more convenient for just in general, it would have been a little bit more convenient. But um, I just didn't like the feel when I got on campus. Like I really didn't. And I'm thankful for that. I'm happy I didn't end up going there. Thank you, God. He'll do it because... I didn't like it and I was going to make that sacrifice, but make the best decision for you because you're going to be studying, you're going to be focused, you're going to be comfortable, so that's definitely something to keep in mind. And if you know somebody there, I didn't know anybody in Alabama, never been to Alabama, didn't know nothing about Alabama, but I love the school and I'm so thankful to be here. Any advice on narrowing down what kind of law is best for you? I know the first year everyone takes the same classes, but after that it sounds like free for all. So really, once you take the classes your first year, because it's kind of across the board, you kind of see which areas interest you the most. And even if it was an area like, you know what, I would never do that. When you come to law school, you're like, I would never practice that. But then you get like an A in the class. Like, you should probably think about trying to figure out what type of practice that is. Because you might be really well. Um, I actually had lunch with an attorney. That doesn't happen to her. She took this labor law class and she was like, I don't really like it. Da -da -da. Booked the class, got an A. And now um, the professor that was professor is not her boss and she works at that firm so like things like that happen so just kind of like be open when you're in law school and just kind of let it happen and see where you fall but over the summer when you're working at different firms you'll really get to see you know what I like this firm or I didn't or I liked this DA's office or I didn't or I like this public defender's office or I didn't things like that so um that's going to be your best way to choose your classes and kind of figure it out and you'll you'll figure it out you'll know what works best for your personality as you go throughout your first year and even in your second year if you don't know yet I, I say um definitely start kind of narrowing it down your track whether you're going trial route or um transactional route or tra um patent law route tax law whatever it may be maybe because there's so many different areas of law research 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 talk to attorneys meet with them for lunch um talk to other law students that are in that field and just see um how they like it and how you might like it and how it might fit for you so yeah guys that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching if you have any other questions or comments just leave them down in the comment section below i feel like um i covered for the most part like a general idea of law school i hope that's what i did if not like i said feel free to just continue to ask me questions and i will do my very best to answer them also if you have like i said any more video recommendations for this legal tea series that i am starting leave them down in the comment section below as well um, don't forget to thumbs up this video for more law school related videos and professional videos. If you guys want like a professional lookbook or something like that, that's definitely on my list of possibility possible videos. So leave me some comments if you guys want to see that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't worry, I will still be doing my wig reviews and my hair videos, my makeup videos and fashion and all that. But I definitely want to add um, legal videos as well because I mean literally law school is taking over my life. So why not? join my law school and my youtube together but that's it you guys um i am exhausted 
It is 738. I'm going to try to do a little bit of reading for school or something or trial team, one or the other. Take a bubble bath and just relax because tomorrow's Monday and I have class till 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. Happy studying. <laughs> Yay, law school. Love you guys.